Okay, so today I'm gonna to be doing a kitchen tour. I'm gonna to show you my kitchen and my living room and my bathroom, kind of a before and after. I've been in this house for about a year and just so many people have asked me to do this tour and so I am here to do it for you guys today. So I hope that you enjoy. So I'll try to do a little bit of before and after so you can see, you know, what we've done. I can talk about like the colors on the walls and you know, all of that, all that stuff too with you guys. But this video is so cool because it is actually a collaboration with my friend Lisa Canning and she actually had a show on HGTV. So she is legit. She's gonna share um, something, a space in her house that she has redecorated. And so I can't wait to check it out. She is a Catholic mom of eight children. She is a book author. She has an amazing personality. She's super fun to watch, very relatable. She's awesome. So if you like my content, you will love hers. So after this video, definitely go over and check out her channel and subscribe and say hello from Heather's channel. And if you're from Lisa's channel, my name is Heather and I am a Catholic mommy YouTuber. I have four children, one on the way. I am very much pregnant, <laughs> um, but very excited. And I just do a lot of um, mommy videos, Catholic videos. I love the Catholic faith. I love mommy things. I went to school for interior decorating, so I love decorating and just anything home, homey, cooking, cleaning, all of that. I love it all. So if that's something you're interested, in, definitely subscribe down below. Um, let's get into the really fun stuff though, the tour. Okay, so there's the entranceway. So you walk in there and then over here is I have a little council table and I have under here like all of our winter things. There's not much storage in the house. And then over here is kind of like more our summer things. So like hats and stuff like that. Um, I get asked all the time about the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. I will link them below. I got them right off of Amazon, so I will link those. But I absolutely love that looking over there. Okay, and then over here I have the living room. I will put all the pink colors. I know this one is Dove. I can't remember if it's by Sharon Williams, but that's by um, the color Dove. And then if you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but it is definitely a different color than white. It's like an off-white, so it really kind of pops with an actual white piece. So I really like that. I just wanted something airy and bright and I love it. I have the kids um, books down here that I just can go over. Um, the kids can always grab books and you know we were learning this summer so this was really fun for them to have books, learning books around. We are big blanket people as you can see. Um, this chair and that chair are both from Ikea and they both have slip covers, which I love because with kids, you know how that goes. Um, these I got from a thrift store. This is a thrift store find, and that came with it. And there's one more in our prayer room, which I will have linked below because I did a whole video on my prayer room. Um, so yeah, so I feel really blessed to have those. Got this carpet from Wayfair and I love it. It hides the dirt really well. You would never know. I've had this for four years. It's pretty awesome. Um, I love having this huge window, but I felt like a big like fishbowl, <laughs> like all my neighbors could look in. So I bought these really, really thin curtains from, just from Target. And it's great because I can see out, but people cannot see in until nighttime. And then we just have these um, curtains over here, which are kind of blackout lights curtains. And I got those from Target as well. So they're really like sturdy, but, um, but I love how big this window is. It adds so much light to this room. It's awesome. And then this lamp I just got because my son broke ours. <laughs> but this is, I got from Target as well. So this is a Target find and this did not come with it. It came off the, the lamp that broke. So um, yeah, so that's how, where I got that. 
over here i love this little <laughs> ladder with blankets on it like i said we use a lot of blankets here so um, i found this ladder at i think it was tj maxx i'm a huge tj maxx lover i got this blanket off of amazon i can link that below this is from target and this i've just had forever but um, i love those i got these pictures from tj maxx as well um, this table is really <laughs> really sad i it was a pretty cheap find and you can tell like we need a new table it works great for right now but okay and here is our kitchen we still have to fix this lamp like change it um, this chandelier came with the house but it was like a brassy look so we just painted it black and I think it looks really awesome and then um, this island we did last summer my husband surprised me for my birthday with a big island I got to design it and everything these chairs are really sturdy and great I got these from world market and the kids love it I was hoping to put four up here because I have four children but and it would fit but it would just be really really squishy so um, so I just went with three and then down here um, we have more cabinets so this is our our house did not have much um, cabinet space um, and so that was one of the main reasons I wanted a big island plus it's great having the kids here I can chat with them while I'm cooking and stuff like that. So this is the other side of the island. I love these because these are full size. So it, they're great. Um, so it's a pretty big island. I think there's like a foot a foot lip, you know, for us to, to sit down at. And it's really big. And I absolutely love it. It makes the whole place really bright. Um, Bella will pull up this bench right here to right here and help me cook right here pretty much every night she loves helping me in the kitchen which is so cute um i got this bowl i we love apples as you can see i got this bowl at home home goods and i love that i i just wanted something in the middle that the kids could just grab a snack and it's healthy and all of that okay so this is pretty much our big island that i dreamt about and it is exactly what i wanted the marble on top i want to say it's calcutta marble um, i will try to see if i can find the link to this but i love it because it's mainly white with a little bit of like gray ingrained and i i love it so much the pendant lights are awesome <laughs> i really like the pendant lights um we got them either from home depot or lowe's i can't remember i'll see if i can find a link we'll see how that goes but um but i love it because me and bella will be cooking here and sometimes i can watch the news right there and the kids will be playing right there so this was pretty much like my vision and it's awesome to like see it all kind of come together so we did the island first and then this whole part well i should say if this cabinet over was already there and we just painted that white now that's a very very white i think it's like ultra white and i I wish I would have picked a different white, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, so, so pretty much we had people come and paint the top and the bottom. And then um, we use the same countertop as over here. And I love it. It's so great. And so the it only went to here, our kitchen, um, because there used to be a wall right here. Right there is where the wall was. And so we added this whole cabinet so it kind of lines up with the island right here and oh this island has a different color i will see if i can link that down below i don't remember what that color is but i'll see i'll link it down below it's like sherwin williams or something like that so um so if you want like something that's a different color this is really pretty i think i wish i would have done it over there to be honest but oh well maybe later um, so anyway, so, so we added this, I had them add a floating shelf, two of them, which is great because I love my cookbooks. And so once a week I use a new cookbook and I try new recipes. And so I'll just put it up there 
as display and I absolutely love it. Um, and then just some greenery. I just, it was so like white that I wanted like some color. So also this, I think I got this from, let's see, Home Depot or Lowe's. I'll see if I can link that below too because it was actually a really good price and it's, I think, marble. And I do like how it turned out. I thought it'd be a little more whiter, but I do like how it's more gray and stuff. I added a lot of like wood tones to it to kind of warm it up because it was so cold. Oh, this hood. So there used to be right here a microwave and we never used the microwave. So I had them put in this pretty hood and like just raised it. And so I really like how it turned out. It looks really good. Um, and then over here I have my faux full flowers because I kill every plant I have except for the ones outside. God does a good job with those otherwise they'd be dead. Um, but I love these. I got these off of an Etsy page. I'll see if I can link those below but I love putting the rosary here and just doing my dishes. It's kind of like my me time but I love and they have like all the different kinds. They have nativity. They have different kinds. So so I actually have like five of them and I'll kind of switch them out with the seasons. But um, yeah, the sink is different too. It's a little deeper. I really wanted one that would split in the middle. But this right here is really small. So this is all that they could really do. And this, this house was built in like the 60s. So, so things that are built in the 60s, they did things differently then. Um, I did put this in. I love the high arch. And again, I think this was Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, so pretty much most of Nothing's too fancy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is it. I love how bright and white and cheerful it is. It's so awesome having this kitchen. Like my vision kind of come alive okay and here's just a quick tour of my bathroom um so we painted the walls this i think it's passive gray it's called um i'll see if i can link that below and then i got these from oh my goodness like marshall's or something like that years ago and i think they're so pretty um i needed something that let the light in i got these from target but people can't see in um, and then little shelves. I think I got those off of Amazon. However, they're not very well made and they're hard to put up. So I don't think I would recommend them. I like how they look, but I think you could go off of Etsy and find something different. And then we got a new toilet. We did put in new tiling. So it's white tile with black grout. And I, th I actually really like that. I think it's really pretty and stuff. And then we put a new vanity in. And I really like these. I got, I think the vanities from Lowe's or Home Goods as well. This is, I think, what makes it. Otherwise, it would look probably <laughs> not not as nice. But I got this is off of Wayfair, and I really think it's really pretty. So, a um, little feminine touch there. And hey guys, got this mirror from Wayfair as well. And same with these pendant lights. So. Um, I don't know if I can link, I'll see if I can link all of this down below if you are interested. But yeah, so that is our little bathroom. All right guys, so that was my home tour. I hope that you enjoyed. I do have a whole nother video on my prayer room and it has my little office in there and stuff too. So I will link that above and at the end. Um, a lot of people <laughs> really like that. And so I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you give this a thumbs up and definitely go over to Lisa Canning and her video. I can't wait to see what she does in her space. She's so fun and so great. So thank you, Lisa, for doing this video with me. And until next time, I will see you all later. God bless, bye. There was a closet here and it was just really big and clunky so we got that move and then we got this golden mirror. Look how dated all of that is. It's pretty crazy so um, just really simple. There's a big open window over there which I love so much. There's a fireplace and then um, it's really basic. Um, and stuff and I'm a little nervous because there's no pantry in here so a little nervous about that but I think it'll be fine less is more right um, so I'm gonna show you 
from the other side what it looks like. So this is like where the dining room is. Not right now. <laughs> um, so this is where the dining will be, right here where Zachary 